and welcome to my channel, X Marina X. I'm Marina and I'm so thankful for you to be here today. Um, today I am planning on doing a get ready with me with my morning routine. So I'll be doing my makeup, doing my hair, getting dressed, everything. You'll see all of my morning habits, um, which is a little bit scary, but I'm very excited to show you guys. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go shower and I'll meet you guys back in a couple minutes. Alright, so now I've gotten my shower, gone ahead and got dressed, my hair is still crazy wet, um, but we're going to go ahead and go into my skincare routine. Um, first off, I'm going to start by saying I do not wash my face in the shower, uh, but I went ahead, since I don't have a sink right here, obviously I went ahead and washed my face in my sink already. So we're going to start off with the next part of my skincare routine, which is proactive pore targeting treatment, which is the step two of the proactive treatment. Um, I don't use any of the other steps, but so this is just um, an acne treatment. And you're supposed to rub it where you see or where you get acne commonly, like really often. And right now, especially because we've been wearing all those masks all the time, um, I work eight hour shifts just about every day, if not every other day. Um, and with that comes a lot of acne here on my chin. So I've been using that to try and help combat it. Um, I will say I'm not really sure if it's working. I've heard a lot of bad things about proactive, but it's left over. So what are you going to do, you know? So the next thing I'm going to go in and use is the Lux Skin Snake Venom and Peptide Eye Serum. And I've been using this for a little while. Um, I'll be honest, when I started using this, I also started getting more sleep. So I can't say whether or not this works either. But it feels so cooling and uh, moisturizing on my under eyes. So I continued using it. And once again, it's one of those leftover things. I my mom probably gave it to me and you know you use what you've got you know um, my moisturizer that I use is the first aid beauty ultra repair cream intense hydration skin protection this is what it looks like um I got this for my birthday last year so it's been more than a year um and I've <laughs> honestly hardly even dug into it even though I use it every day if not twice a day um but it's really good i'll be honest like it's the first moisturizer that i've actually had um but i found the first day of beauty while i was looking for skincare products when i first started caring about my skin um and i'll be honest like i've tried moisturizers out of like ipsy and stuff like that that they've sent me and none of them compare to that. Not a single one. And the last step of my skincare process is sunscreen. I have no clue what kind of sunscreen this is. It is a travel pack from when I went on vacation um, this summer. But be using sunscreen. I don't care if you're even going to hardly be outside. I don't care if it's winter. Winter is actually the most important time to use sunscreen because that's when you get the clouds that reflect the sun. And you get snow that reflects the sun and everything, and you get burnt, and you don't even understand why you're getting burnt. Next thing I'm going to use is this um, lip scrub that I got from Lips by Jenny. Um, I've already made a video over them, but once again, you know, I love their products. They actually just released a... Um, new, I think it's like keychains, there's a Disney one and another one um, that are really cute. Um, I'll probably end up buying one sometime soon, but we'll see. So I just use that, get it all scrubbed in. So once I've done that, Fourth Ray Beauty Glow Up Face Oil. 
It's very moisturizing. Um, I got it with the new ColourPop, um, the Sunflower, and I'll be reviewing that on my TikTok soon um, if you want to check that out. I love it though. I, I'll tell you now. I love it. I put just all over my face and on my lips to kind of moisturize them after using that exfoliating scrub. You always, always, always want to uh, moisturize after exfoliating or else your skin will be dry, it will crack, and that's just, that's no fun. That's not what you want to do. Alright, so the next thing that we will be digging into is makeup. Alright, so now it's time for makeup. Um, so I'm going to start by taking my scrunchie. You don't want to use a ponytail when you put your hair up while it's wet because that's how you get those weird lines in your hair, um, the weird waves in your hair um, while it dries with that ponytail in there. So I just use a scrunchie, put my hair up in a cute little bun, pull out my side pieces because I feel ugly without them even though they're still getting in the way. And then I'm ready to do my makeup. All right, so the first step to doing any makeup, obviously, is to use primer. Like I always use, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Face Primer. And I'm just going to, there we go. And I'm just going to rub all of that in. It honestly, I've never really reviewed it before um, in my other videos, but it has such a nice feel. Like, it's really odd for a matte primer to have such a moisturizing feel and that's definitely my favorite part of it other than you know the price um but it feels amazing honestly so th so the next product i'm going to use is the elf 16 hour camo concealer in shade fair beige like i always use um i've told i've said this a thousand times but it is just like I'm going to say a little bit, but it's actually quite a bit too light for my skin. So I just kind of like to dab it on. See, even you can see, like, I can see from here how too light it is for my skin. Um, so I just dab it on. And then I take one of these beautiful sponges here. So I have the Full Beat Blending Sponge Kit. I don't know where this was from, I got it for my birthday, but it comes with five sponges and I'm going to use, be using the complexion sponge. And I just take it and blend it right out, just like this, all around. And the system that I use is something I haven't seen any other makeup artist use, like, ever. Um, so I think that that's kind of cool, but it's definitely what works for me although it is highly questioned by some other people. So the first thing I do um, with my concealer is I blend it out with a beauty blender, and then I take a foundation brush, a flat-headed brush, and I go ahead and just rub it out just like this. I feel like it blends just a little bit better this way, and then after that, I go back in again with the beauty blender and just pat, 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 just to make sure that there's no uh, blotchiness, there's no like weird spots, and going back in with the beauty blender definitely helps with texture, makes it look a little bit more skin-like. So now that we have that, um, as you can see, it is quite a bit lighter than my face. So what I do is I go back in with that same foundation brush and I take a powder foundation. This is from Sephora. It's Sephora Micro Smooth in the shade Clair Light 15. Don't ask me. It was for prom my freshman year. Um, and I just tap it in there. Tap all in with my skin a little bit better 
as well as make it just a little bit darker so it's not so somewhat tan. Why this paper? <laughs> it also just kind of works as like a setting powder when I'm too lazy to use setting powder. I only ever use setting powder when I'm doing like big looks or I'm going out somewhere or anything like that. Um, but like I said, this is just my everyday thing. And then once again, we're just going to go right back in with that complexion sponge just to even out the texture. And I do plan on getting an actual foundation at some point, but you know, I have other things to spend my money on. You know, I have bills to pay. I, I have college and a car to save up for. So for right now, I'm good with just using a concealer. Next step to any great makeup artist process is eyebrows. So I take the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Frame and Set in the shade 215 Deep Brunette. As you can see here. Um, and then I take the brush that it came with because I'm poor. It's smaller than all my other brushes. It's hard to find. There we are. And I just go with the nat uh, natural shape of my brows. So I just I grab a, another ColourPop palette called Uh Huh Honey. It is honestly one of my favorites. Um, Although Lil Ray of Sunshine is definitely my favorite. So I use the mirror on that. And now the other brow. Done. Now for my everyday makeup, I'll be honest, I really don't care match um, because my eyebrows naturally just don't look anything alike. Daily I don't really care to um, change that. Now the next thing that I'm going to go in with is the Milk Makeup um, Lip and Cheek in the shade Work. I got that in my birthday gift thing from Sephora. I got a Milk Pleasant. And I'll be honest, um, it looks gorgeous at first, but it is very fast that it just kind of goes away. And naturally, I get embarrassed pretty easily, so I am blushing all the time. So I don't really need blush, but I feel like it is kind of let down from milk because of all of the great things that I've heard about them. Um, but it is the only blush that I have, so I continue using it. Next, I'm going to begin the process of my eyeballs. So like I said, I'll be using the ColourPop Little Ray of Sunshine palette. My absolute favorite palette. It's my go-to. That's why it's in my everyday look here. Gorgeous. Um, it's a great neutral palette, warm neutrals palette. So I go in with my handy dandy blendy brush right here. Open up my Uh Huh Honey. The first shade that I'm going to go in with is Vitamin D, which is the light, um, light neutral brown. And I just take that all through my crease, and that's the one that I drag up just a little bit farther than I will the others. So I'm just going to bring that into my crease here and blend it into that first color I use. Very nice and simple. Um, this, if you were going for, um, say you were going to have one color all over your lid, or maybe going for a neutral smoky eye, brown smoky eye, um, this is a color that I would say would go great all over your lid. Um, just because it is a very neutral, um, not dark, not light color, I think that it's perfect. Um, and the last color that I'm going to go in with is Sun Giant. There we go. And it is the dark brown that's included, the darkest shade included. And I just take that on my inner corner, outer corner, on my outer corner, and tightly through my crease. And all of the other colors apply really nicely, but I feel like this one you do have to tack on 
quite a bit to get the punch that the others give. Um, but either way, I feel like it is great. Um, is a great palette. Got beautiful shades. Once again, this is not sponsored. Um, ColourPop sponsor me. <laughs> but they're not going to because I am a very small influencer. Very tiny. But yeah, so I just would like to take a second to appreciate this packaging. This packaging is gorgeous. I love it so much. and place it right on my inner half of my eyelid. And it is just so pretty, but it does, surprisingly for the type of eyeshadow it is, it does have fallout. And that's not something you really see with um, this type of eyeshadow, so it is kind of a strange thing, but it's such a pretty color, I, I don't care. And on my day to day, I don't generally do my under eyes because I'm lazy and I don't care. I don't even put mascara on my under eyes. So now it's time to go in with mascara. And this one came in my birthday gift as well. It's the Melt Makeup Kush Mascara. So the next thing I'm using is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Grid One Primer Water. I'm just going to use that as my setting spray. Um, this is also drugstore because I'm broke. I'm a broke chica. chica. And the next thing I'm going to go in with is, see I did a gold look so I'll go in with this, the Maybelline New York Master Chrome uh, Metallic Highlighter. It is broken severely because I have a little sister. <laughs> Instead of using a brush or anything, I'm just going to go in with my finger and put it on all the places I want it very lightly because it does have quite a bit of punch in a little pack. And then I just blend it down with my finger as well. Up on the inner corner. You could also use the ColourPop um, shadow, the pressed shadow that I showed you. Um, as like your inner corner highlight. I just chose not to do that this time. And then just a little bit up on my brow bone. And boom, there's my highlight. So the last step, I believe, is eyelashes. Oh, lips, I forgot about lips. So we're gonna go ahead and do our eyelashes. So the first thing that I do after my mascara is go ahead and curl my lashes. I actually have really, really nice eyelashes. They just refuse to curl. So curling really doesn't do anything. It just makes me feel better. Um, and then I take my angled brush here. And I dot a little bit of the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with And then I just take my brush and dip it in there. And use it almost as eyeliner at this point. Like now I'm just going to, I don't know why I just closed that. Now I'm just going to take my eyelash curler and very gently push them together. And last but not least, uh, Colourpop's Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Sun Soaked, which is 20G4. I hate the applicator that these come with, I'll be honest. It's like a paintbrush, and I hate those. But, it is so pretty. And it smells good. And it's moisturizing, so I guess I Does 
thing about it is, is that I have a really pretty natural color to my hair. I really do. And most lip glosses are colored, so they try and like cover that up. And I don't like that, so I try and go for very clear. Alright, so the next thing is hair. Thank you for joining in on this video. videos like this be sure to check my channel and possibly subscribe thank you so much you guys have a great day x3.x